we can't provide you lunch at home, um, but we can certainly throw a party uh, virtually. And that is exactly our plan um, for the, uh, the next session. So um, what we're going to do is actually throw a retirement party for paper certificates um, and talk about how digital credentials are transforming uh, recognition. So with that in mind, I'm going to uh, introduce uh, Dr. Bob Hall, the uh, Executive Director of Launch. Launch is a program for students in Elmbrook, Wisconsin, that seeks to connect rigorous learning with real world hands-on projects provided by business and, uh, and industry. It's a hub of training and development competencies that incorporate 21st century knowledge and skills. And joining Bob is Josh Truman, uh, VP of Partnerships and at uh, Convergence Tech. Josh has spent his 20-year uh, career working with partners in K-12 education as they transition to digital teaching and learning. So um, again, welcome, uh, Dr. Hall. And uh, Josh, over to you and let the party begin. Uh, thank you, Tony. Um, well, you know, I want to thank you all for coming to this retirement party today. Uh, it's a bittersweet moment. And uh, what can we say about paper certificates? Wow, <laughs> you've been such a part of this place for so long. You've always been there for us in the corner by the photocopier. I'll never forget that time when there was a delay at the printer. But you came through in the end. You always did. In good times. You've earned your break. And I hear you've got a place down in Florida next to VHS and cassette tapes. You're going to love that. But let's face it, when you look at the alternatives that technology enables, the paper certificate has had its day. You can still have that paper certificate up on the wall at mom and dad's house, but everything else just works better. Better for the school, better for the student, better for the employers. And I'm delighted to have Dr. Robert Hall here to talk about his experience. But before that, when we consider digital credentials, technology is very, very important. And a few different approaches that have been taken to date have missed the mark. Some experimentation has been done. Others call blockchain the answer, and they're wrong. The future is now, and that is verifiable credentials that are self-sovereign, that are private, secure, and have offline capabilities. So why do we need to spike the punch and move forward? In the past, credentials were hosted and stored in a single database and controlled by a vendor, which leaves your data nowhere to hide and no way to be shared and verified privately or offline. This leads to uncertain results and the potential for that credential location to change. So let's get out the party hats and the confetti cannons because the new system for credentials is here and it allows for things like user control, housing of rich metadata, true privacy, and offline sharing and verification, just to name a few. But before we hear from Dr. Hall, I'd like to share a couple of quotes from the Assistant Dean of Ontario Tech, as well as the Superintendent of Elmbrook Schools in Wisconsin, Wisconsin, which we're very proud of. But without further ado, I'd like to please welcome Dr. Robert Hall. Robert, the floor is yours. Thank you, Josh. Um, just to tell you a little bit about myself, um, been in education for about 28 years, a variety of levels, uh, principal um, of a K-12 or a K-8 school district, uh, principal of a high school, and then that led me to this position within the Elmbrook School District as the Executive Director of Launch. I feel like most of my work over the last uh, probably 10 years has really been in learning and designing uh, experiences for kids and really getting them inspired and motivated to leave uh, the high school setting. Elmbrook is located in um, Brookfield, Wisconsin. Um, it's about 20 minutes from everywhere important in Wisconsin. I say that jokingly. Uh, we are about uh, 20 minutes west of Milwaukee, about 40 minutes east of Madison, and two hours south of the greatest football team in America, the Green Bay Packers. Uh, Elmbrook is one of the top school districts in the state of Wisconsin, serves over 7,400 families uh, and students. Um, just really, I think, a forward-thinking uh, uh, school district in the state of Wisconsin. As mentioned before, I am the executive director of Launch. We've grown the program over the last five years um, in conjunction with another neighboring school district, the Wauwatosa School District. 
Um, we now have built a program that started with 70 students, believe it or not, to now over, uh, we just last year reached the 500 student mark. We offer students the chance to get courses co-taught, we call them strands, and um, they're co-taught by teachers, one from maybe an elective area, and then one from a core area. So we've expanded from three core strands and now over 14, everything from data science to IT, engineering, manufacturing, construction. Uh, we really wanna produce authentic engagement for, for kids, provide them human connections with people from the industry. Um, also really emphasize something that I think we can all relate to, which is learning by experience and how much experiences that we've had have impacted our lives and really give our students to really add value to the various communities, both regional and global, um, that our students will be facing after high school. Our program is really based on the accumulation of skills. Um, those skills revolve around four very important areas. Career development, that could be everything from business acumen to um, really understanding more about certain career paths and fields that you'll be getting into. The human skills, which I would call, most people might refer to those as soft skills. However, um, they are anything but soft. Uh, they are human related, especially as we move into, and we are already in the era of the human and machine interaction. There are very unique human skills that will be needed forever. Uh, the professional literacies, uh, communication, research, data analysis, data fluency, that is so important to being a professional of the future. And then also the tech skill development. So those are the technical certifications and credentials that we offer our students as they go through the project-based experiences that we provide them in launch. So why do we use digital credentials? Um, something that was very, very important to us as a school district and as a program is we found that through experiential learning, kids were leaving with more of the implicit uh, building of skills. When I would ask them typically after, at the conclusion of a project, what skills were they building? Um, they, would, they would say a lot of different skills and I would have to interpret them in certain ways. So what the credentials have really allowed us is to, to allow students to be explicitly talking about creativity, uh, innovation, critical thinking, emotional intelligence. And what credentials have allowed us to do is bring it from the point of building that skill from an awareness to an application and an experience, and then developing that skill and turning it into what I think is the most hireable form, which is a capability. Can that student take that skill and show development through various contexts? In addition to that, we also wanted to give students a strategy to tell a story of learning that went far beyond the traditional way, which um, we have to retire the way to talk about student learning through the only use of a, of a transcript. The last thing is we found in our region, and maybe this exists all around the world, is just a different language when we talk about skills that, that exist between industry and education. And so we wanted to develop credentials that would really connect industry and education language together so that when students transition to life and college, that they would have that language that could last them uh, their journey of learning. We use them now currently. Uh, we offer for our 500 students the chance for them. We provide them a menu of these digital skills um, these human skills and technical skills that they choose and they develop over the course of a project experience, which is about eight to 10 weeks. And then they can choose different ones as the school year goes on. Um, what I love about it is students have some voice and choice in that journey. Um, at the conclusion of an experience, the professionals that we have involved, they endorse our students' skill um, abilities and, and they endorse our skills that then uh, go up on LinkedIn. So when a student has a professional transcript uh, via LinkedIn digitally, um, it not only speaks to what they're learning in high school, but it also speaks to our industry partners who support them along the way. The future of our work, 
we need to, as a program, expand that menu so that we are future ready. The core skills, the core human skills, I think, have not changed much over the last five to six years. But as technology grows and, and automation becomes even more important in different career sectors, the more that we can really look at an expanded menu of human skill credentials, I think will allow our students to be future ready as leaders. We also wanna to continue to customize our skill credentials to the diverse student interests that we have. We want this to be truly a K-12 movement, if not even into the um, college areas and universities around us. We wanna gain more organizational endorsements. So as, as we build our credentials, can, can the industries in our region, the Milwaukee Tools, the Northwest Mutuals, the Generax, uh, some of the larger organizations, can they endorse these skill criteria so that our students can move from high school to be, to be hired? And then can we develop and continue to develop credential levels? Like I said, as you build your skills from awareness to application to a capability, um, can we have these credentials really speak to that, to that purpose? Um, and then lastly, can, can we provide students first generation and international engagement in these credentials. I think the more powerful that, that becomes, the more our credentials will mean even more um, to our students, to our employers, and to the various school districts within our region. Thank you, Robert. And uh, thank you, Josh, as well and really appreciate those, uh, those insights.